Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. It's Girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. I'm not sure if this was suggested or I just came across it when downloading the other video. I'm not sure, but today I'm reacting to Israel targets Muslim YouTubers. Uh, targets them in what way by limiting the content in the country or what exactly otherwise let's see what the video has for us so without wasting time let's get into the video Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, brothers and sisters and dear friends. Uqsum billahi al-azim. We took an oath by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that we are going to, inshallah, use our platforms as much as we can to show what's going on on the ground, brothers and sisters. It's got to them so bad. Alhamdulillah, with the permission of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and all praises belong to Him, our videos and most of the videos are, brothers and sisters, we're looking at hundreds and thousands to millions of views in a matter of days. Mm. And this is really, really, really hurting the Israeli Big time. Uh, 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 state, yeah, mm. this this apartheid state. That's what they are. Okay? State, yeah, yes, state. That's what it is. So much so, guys, they are now placing ads on our very videos. Mine, yours. I came across this video, brother and sister. Let's watch this for ourselves. This video is not going to be long. You guys need to send this video to all Muslim YouTubers because someone notified. I saw the video, but someone look at the Khadr of Allah. I saw the video. Wallahi uqsum billah aki. I saw the video. And I thought, oh my gosh, they're placing ads. And I, in my head, before I can think, I can well lie this from Allah. A brother messaged me, yeah, a, um, a brother that I know. And he messages me and he goes, um, I've seen this video. He, he messaged me something else. He said, there's a female ad on your thing. I said, okay, we blocked ads. But you know they use women for chocolate and all that kind of stuff. I said, it's out of my control. He said, you can do specific blocking. I was like, how? And he sent me, I was like, wow, I didn't even know that, yeah? Mm. So now we know that. And then he goes, by the way, Israel is putting ads. And I was like, yeah. And I was like, oh my gosh, yeah. I said, can we block? He goes, yeah. I was like, bro, can you imagine what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala facilitated? Because I don't know how to do it, Aki, yeah? yeah? I know you can block certain things, but I didn't know you can specifically block. And he sent me that. I've got the messages here. Look at this propaganda, guys. It's unbelievable, yeah? Watch this. Let's watch and it we'll together. also watch. give you a way to block it. It's very simple. Very It'll simple. take you like half a minute. It will take you literally 30 seconds. Send this to all the YouTubers, all the public figures who are Muslim, because they're placing these ads on our videos because they know we're targeting and exposing them. Watch this. Did you guys hear that? A Hamas rocket, by the way, look, attacking innocent civilians, we've made it very clear. Yeah. Both sides, whatever it may be, it's disgusting. Okay. The, the, the thing here is though, the Palestinian kids are being blown into pieces while the Israeli illegal settlers, their children, have bunkers. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Mm. Let's be real. Okay. And their rockets are all being intercepted. Yeah. Look at this noise. Yeah. Do you think this is from a Hamas not, rocket? Not all being intercepted, but well, most well, of well, them. Well, most of them. Most, yeah, of, them, most yeah. of them are being intercepted. Yeah. Okay. Watch this. Listen. Bro, they are even using sound. This explosion is most likely from an Israeli airstrike on the Palestinians killing babies, blowing them into pieces. Mm. Blowing them into pieces. I'm going to repeat that over and over again. They are even using the sound effects of their own bombings in their videos. That's how that's how desperate it's got. Desperate times go for desperate measures. You know, even that, that girl, you noticed there yeah. was an echo. Yeah. And even when you've got different yeah. frames... Yeah, you can see that they're, they're different footages, yes. but you've got the same sound yes. that continues. So, you know, editing, editing's yeah. done. And we did this when we spoke to Caden Robertson. He told us how editing was done when Tommy Robertson punched that black guy. Exactly. Yeah? So we can yes. see it's happening again. Israel will protect the citizens against Hamas terror. Okay, can okay that's right. The Americans have come as well said you need the uh, 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 Israel has a right to defend itself. Do the Palestinians have a right to defend themselves? It's very important. Do they have a right to defend themselves as well? We're asking a simple question. Nobody is talking about this. It's unbelievable. And guys, all this editing and the way they made it seem it to be, and I'm not saying 
the people, the Israeli... In, the in international people. law, yeah. does say that if yes. you are occupied, yes. you have a right to, to... Defend yourself. Yeah, armed yes. resistance. Yes. You're allowed, but that's yes. not being mentioned. And, 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 and let's be real, they're, they're democratically elected, yeah? Uh, Hamas is democratically elected. It's, it's as simple as that, yeah? Okay. Hamas is democratically elected, but even Obama, yeah. when he was questioned about ISIS, he said yeah. ISIS is a, a, a result of... Un, it's an unintended yeah. consequence yes. of our invasion in Iraq. Exactly. Did, yeah? did, did Hamas exist before this all happened? No. You guys caused them. Yeah. You guys are. If you have a problem, so this with Hamas, is an unintended yes, consequence of yes, the occupation. Let's be real. You guys have caused them, and this is what's happening. Innocent people are dying. So the point is, this brothers and sisters, it is very clear. The Palestinians, they don't need the special effects. All they have to do is take their camera out. And just record what's happening. They don't need special effects footages from a different place that's going to have to do with the whole uh, what you're you're, uh, what you're trying to portray and put this together and use sound effects from your actual bombings that you're doing in uh, in, in Gaza and ki uh, in killing fact, innocent bro, people. Palestinians don't even have the budget to be buying they ads don't. of YouTube. They don't. But alham alhamdulillah, mm. there are Muslim YouTubers. Alhamdulillah, there's public figures who are raising awareness to this because they don't. Yeah, they don't. We don't get funded by nobody. Nobody funds us. All we do is raise awareness. Inshallah. Is there anything else you'd like to add, Aki? Let's, let's show people, uh, walk them through exactly. how to... Exactly, guys. So it's very simple. Let me just show it. you guys, inshallah. So, there we go. We've got it on the screen, guys. Just so for any through. any any YouTuber will know this, inshallah, guys. Any of you guys, YouTubers, you will know this. Go to your AdSense. And when you go to your AdSense, yes, you uh, press block, block controls. Go to ad Advertise URLs. And just enter what we have on the screen. Once you've done that, it's literally this easy. I did not even know this. So yeah, the first option on the left. Yeah, first option on the left. Yeah. yeah, and once you search it, you will see blocked. There we go. It's blocked. Yeah, on my one, it wasn't. It was allowed. You press blocked. It's as simple as that. It will take you thirty seconds. So share this, inshallah, uh, brother Adam Saleh, Slim, Fuzzy Tube, and the other YouTubers. Not the sellout, so like Nas Daily. He's a sellout. I got a video coming from him. This sellout. He's a Palestinian. He's a sellout. Yeah. Uh, anyways, um, so brothers and sisters, what we're saying is, inshallah, um, we've done the videos, inshallah, and the damage is done. That's correct. The damage is done, and the damage is being done towards Israel. There's so much so they are b buying YouTube ads. Uh, to show their it's desperation. Inshallah. It's pure desperation. Yes, yes. No problem. When you have to buy advertising space yeah. on Muslim channels, yeah, and get edited footage uh, and disgrace, use disgrace. use sound effects of actual airstrikes and make it seem like it's Hamas rockets, it's clear. Brothers and sisters, that's the video. Share it with all the YouTubers. They all have to block those ads. This is your duty. It is your duty to do it. It's our duty to bring you the videos and help inshallah raise awareness. It's your duty, brothers and sisters, to do it inshallah. We are going to join forces inshallah and show people the reality of how they're massacring ethnic cleansing of the Palestinian people. Till next time, our video will be next video we'll be reacting to is the reaction video of an absolute propaganda video of Israel asking the question, what if this happened in London? We'll be able to find out your answer. Ethnic cleansing, that's <clears throat> that's uh, something. That means something. Um, I really love how they've ended that video. I mean, what if it happened in America? Would America still sit still? What if it happened in London? Would London still sit still? Those are the questions that I saw in the other interview that I watched by one of the guys that was being reacted to and I think we all know the answer to that. Any small thing, these people, these big powers would react without even before you know it. And it's really, really sad. But then I'm trying to think, why would Israel do such a thing? What are they trying to prove by showing such a thing? Or advertising such things for people to see which i feel like to some certain extent it's propaganda trying to shape the way we're looking at israel and what's happening they're trying to justify what they're doing which whenever you kill someone that's not doing any harm to you you can't justify that no matter why you're where you stand whether your point is good or you just can't justify killing a child otherwise um i think it's propaganda they're trying to shape how people think how people view things and they're trying to get people on their side but then i guess it's backfiring i i just don't know but i guess there's some people still supporting them there's some people not supporting them it's it's really really sad Truly, really, really sad. I wanted to say something else. There's something that was mentioned. 
<laughs> there's so many things i'm thinking at the same time i'm trying to think but anyway it seems like they're taking many measures to control the narrative and let's see how this turns out what are other people thinking about this situation uh who do you think is right who do you think is wrong what do you think people should do about it and yeah let me know what you guys actually think and shot make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video